external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death. So as you begin to look at this decade and affirming that this is your decade, as you set goals that will make you stretch, that will bring out the best in you, as you begin to remove the negative, toxic people from your life, as you decide to take some chances in life, and that's one of the things that's very important. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you cannot become your best, you cannot be happy. I was about a year and a half out and I was already feeling burned out. Um, I was working a little bit more than most ER doctors do. And I felt that um, maybe the practice culture was gearing a bit more towards just you know, patient turnover and efficiency and frankly, um, I guess more tangible rewards. And I th wanted to do something that would remind me of why I did medicine in the first place. But at the same time, you do see hope. There is a sense of hope for them um, by just seeing us here. I think certainly we're not going to change every aspect of their life. We, this is going to be a, not going to be a momentous change in that sense, physically. But I think it does a whole world of wonder for them emotionally and the spiritually side, I believe. And uh, to see them just to give you a genuine thank you. I wanted to figure out whether or not uh, medicine is the right uh, path for me, and this seemed like uh, not only an excellent uh, opportunity to do that, uh, but also a chance to get in touch with my uh, roots, as uh, my mother is from Vietnam and came over during the war. They give you a lot of free reign here, so really it's up to you what you can do here, and if you want to, if you have the desire to, you can really like make the most of your trip, do a lot of different things. Patients, right in the beginning with the parents and playing with them and then going through surgery and watching and then going afterwards and seeing like their, their, their parents like so shocked and like and like me like crying and like hugging their children and it makes me feel so good to see you know like like even though like again that was a small part but just seeing how much impact like the surgeries have done yeah I enjoyed watching the process of surgery I enjoyed uh, just uh, hanging out with sometimes some one-on-one -on -one time with some of the patients to uh, make them feel more at ease passing out some uh, stickers or uh, stuffed animals or what have you just uh, generally trying to raise their spirits and making them think that surgery isn't such a bad thing. The patients are, you know, for what they go through, the children are incredibly strong and resilient. And yeah, it's, uh, it was a really rewarding experience. It is a meaningful event to be able to come back to my birth country and help the people of my country um, in a different capacity. You know, it's always been a dream of mine to be able to provide care in this way. Um, so, yes, I got a lot of it being in touch with my kind of like a deja vu feeling that my part of my childhood was here. Um, but be able to help someone genuinely see the look on their faces you will realize how it touches you. As far as poverty, I don't know how accessible dental care is for these people, but I mean, we definitely see kids that have never had any restorations in mouth, any treatment, so. All the physicians, all the volunteers, um, and nurses, and dental team, uh, and I see all the people leaving, you know, looking good, happy. Some people have it, and some people don't. 
uh, I think that's, that's the bottom line. Some people want to help others, and that's just innate ability or want to need. And some people just want things on their own. So for me, I feel like giving back uh, helped my future life, helped my family, helped me personally. So uh, it gives me a, a sense of relief and, um, in my own life. So it, it makes me feel better within myself. And so it's not necessary. And I came here like appreciate like everything I had in my life because I see so many like poor people and how much like need they have and how much they're unable to get the need. And and like being a volunteer and helping that is just amazing. So by doing what we're doing, we're allowing the doctors to do even more. So every little bit counts. Me volunteering is at its heart the idea of giving yourself with no, exp no expectation of anything in return. Um, you know, and that's really at the heart of it. I think that whether you, you know, I think that once you start to expect um, a return, whether it be material or social um, or the affirmation of others, I think that therein you start, you'll start to lose traction of, of why you volunteer in the first place. In return, that's including discomfort for yourself you know, and you, you have to wear many hats, you know, while you're here, when you volunteer, and that's the expectation you want to put on yourself. There's a lot of nonprofit organizations in the world, you know, and each country probably has similar projects like Project Vietnam. For me, being uh, my ancestors from here, and for me to be able to come back 